Hello students, in today's class we are going to discuss about packaging techniques. Now before going into detail about the techniques of food packaging, you have to first know what is meant by food packaging. Food packaging is a science of making food materials look attractive to the consumer and at the same time keeping the food fresh and easy to eat. Now why is food packaging done? Food packaging is done with the objective of protecting food, resisting tampering and providing special physical, chemical or biological needs. The food package should bear a nutrition fact label and other relevant information about food being offered for sale. Food processing and packaging industries spend approximately 15 percentage of the total variable costs on packaging materials. Innovations in food and beverage packaging have seen development due to industrial processing of food and lack of time to prepare food from fresh ingredients. The innovations are driven by consumer needs and demands that are influenced by changing global trends such as increased life expectancy and abundant and diverse food supply. The emerging innovations to name a few are active and intelligent packing such as oxygen scavengers and moisture control agents, packaging mechanisms that control volatile flavors and aromas and advances in food packaging distribution. For example, radio frequency identification and electronic product codes. Now let us see the objectives of studying about food packaging techniques. Now at the end of the session, you will be able to understand the functions of food packaging, the materials used for food packaging, the types of food packaging and machinery used, and also the modern and futuristic trends in food packaging. Now first, let us see what are the various functions of food packaging. The major objective of food packaging is to satisfy industry requirements and consumer requirements by containing food in a cost effective way, maintaining food safety and minimizing environmental impact. Packaging not only protects food from outside influences and damage, but also provides consumers with information on ingredients and nutrition. The following discussion will tell you what are the various functions of food packaging. The first one is protection. Packaging protects food from physical, chemical and biological influences. Packaging of food helps to protect it physically from mechanical damage which includes shock and vibration during transportation. It helps to protect chemically by minimizing changes in composition of food due to environmental influences such as exposure to oxygen, moisture or light. Packaging also protects food biologically by providing a barrier to pathogenic microorganisms, insects and rodents and thereby prevents disease and spoilage. The second function of food packaging is barrier protection. The primary function of packaging is to keep the food clean, fresh and safe for the intended shelf life. Packages offer a barrier to food from oxygen, water vapor, dust, etc. 
Some packages contain oxygen absorbers that help to extend the shelf life of the product. In some food packages, modified or controlled atmospheres are maintained. The third function will be containment or agglomeration. In order to facilitate efficient handling, small items of food are grouped together in one package. For example, liquids, powders and granular materials can be grouped together in one package. The next function of food packaging is transmission of information. It is mandatory by law to provide certain information to customers. Packages and labels help to communicate such information as product identification, ingredients used, nutritional value, net weight, directions for use, pricing, manufacturing date and expiry date. The next function which food packaging serves is marketing. Manufacturers use packages and labels as an effective marketing tool to promote potential buyers to purchase the product. An important and constantly developing phenomenon for several decades has been designing of packages. Graphic design and marketing communications are applied to the surface of packages. The sales of a product in a competitive environment can be increased by designing unique or innovative packages. The next function is security. There may be security risks during shipment of food products. Such risks can be reduced to a great extent by appropriate packaging techniques. In order to prevent tampering, packages may be, can be made tamper resistant and can also have tamper evident features which will indicate tampering. Packages can be designed in such a way to reduce the risk of pilferage. Some packages may have pilfer indicating seals. Packages may have authentication seals which indicate that the contents are genuine. Packages can also have die packs, RFID tags or electronic article surveillance tags which are all anti-theft devices. These devices can be activated or detected at exit points and require specialized tools to be deactivated. The next one is convenience. Certain features which include convenience in distribution, handling, stacking, display, sale, opening, reclosing, use, reuse and disposal can be incorporated in packages. Packaging in oven safe trays, boil in bags and microwave cooking bags have made cooking very convenient to the customers. Now the next function is portion control. Portion control can be ensured by the use of single serving packages. For example, bulk commodities such as salt can be divided into packages of a suitable size for individual households. Packaging also helps in inventory control. For example, milk sold in sealed one liter bottles ensures better control than milk sold in the bottles brought by consumers to fill themselves. Now next, let us just have a look into the different materials that are used in food packaging. Successful packaging techniques 
can be adopted only if the package material and design is selected in such a way that it will address issues such as characteristics of product, marketing considerations, environment and waste management and cost. The design and construction of a package plays an important role in determining the shelf life of a food product. The precise selection of packaging material and packaging technology helps to maintain the quality and freshness of food products during distribution as well as during storage. Now let us see the materials used in packaging of food. The first one is glass. Glass has been traditionally used as packing material for food products for many years because glass is odorless and it is chemically inert with almost all food products. The advantages of using glass as packaging material for food are glass maintains the freshness for a long period of time without damaging the taste or flavor of the product as glass is impermeable to gases and vapors. Glass can be used for heat sterilization of both low acid and high acid foods as it has the ability to withstand high processing temperatures. Glass can also be produced in a variety of shapes as it is rigid and provides good insulation. Glass is transparent and so it allows consumers to see the product. Glass packaging is reusable and recyclable and so it is beneficial to the environment. However, there are a few disadvantages of using glass for food packaging. There is additional cause of transportation as glass is heavy in weight. Also, glass is susceptible to breakage due to internal pressure, impact or thermal shock as it is brittle. The next material used in packaging is metal. Metal is the most adaptable of all packaging materials as it has excellent physical protection and barrier properties. It has decorative potential, has fine consumer acceptance and is recyclable. The most common metal used in packaging food products is aluminium. Aluminium is used commonly to make cans, foils and laminated paper or plastic packaging. It is used primarily for light packaging of soft drink cans, pet food and seafood aluminium foil. This is available in a wide range of thickness. Thin aluminium foils are used to wrap food and thicker ones are used for trays. Aluminium foils are used extensively as packaging material for food products as they provide excellent barrier to moisture air, odor, light and microorganisms. Laminates and metallized films. Binding of aluminum foil to paper or plastic film to improve its barrier properties is known as lamination. Lamination to plastic enables heat sealability. However, the seal does not completely bar moisture and air. Laminated aluminium is generally used to package high value foods such as dried soups, herbs and spices as it is comparatively expensive. Now let us see the advantages of using aluminium as a packing material. 
aluminium provides an excellent barrier to moisture, air, odor, light and microorganisms. Aluminium has got good flexibility and surface resilience. It has got excellent formability as well as outstanding embossing potential. It can be recycled easily because it can be easily reclaimed and processed into new products. But the disadvantages of using aluminium as food packaging material are aluminium is high in cost compared to other metals. It can be used only for making seamless containers as it is unable to be welded. Now let us see plastic as a food packaging material. Now plastics are used extensively for food packaging due to its properties. Thermoplastics can easily be molded into products such as bottles, jugs and plastic films and so they are ideal for food packaging. Thermoplastics can be melted and reused as raw materials for production of new products as they are recyclable. The advantages of using plastic for packaging are plastics are flexible in design as they are fluid and moldable. Plastics are inexpensive and light in weight. They are chemically resistant and have a wide range of physical and optical properties. Many plastics are heat sealable and easy to print. Disadvantages of using plastics are plastics have variable permeability to light, gases, vapors and low molecular weight molecules. Now let us see the different types of plastic which are used in packaging. The first one we are going to see is polyethylene. A simple and inexpensive type of plastic is polyethylene. There are two categories of polyethylene. One is high density which is used to make bottles for milk, juice, water and used to make liners for cereal box and retail bags. The other one is low density polyethylene which is used to pack bread and frozen foods, flexible lids and squeezable food bottles. Among plastic packages, the ones most recycled are the high density polyethylene containers, especially milk bottles. The next type of plastic we are going to see is polyethylene terephthalate, which is otherwise known as PET. We call it as PET bottles. PET is used widely as packaging material for many food products, particularly beverages, mineral waters and carbonated drinks because it has good resistance to heat mineral oils, solvents and acids. PET bottles are transparent like glass, they are light in weight, they can retain carbonation and they are shatter resistant. The next type of material used for packaging is paper and paper board. There are different types of paper used in food packaging. Let us see a few of them. The first type of paper used in food packaging is craft paper. This is used commonly to make bags or wrappers for packing flour, sugar and dried fruits and vegetables. Sulphite paper. This type of paper is used to make small bags or wrappers for packaging biscuits and confectionery. Grease proof paper. 
This is used to wrap snack foods, cookies, candy bars and other oily foods. Glassine. This is used as a liner for biscuits, cooking fats, fast foods and baked goods. The last one is parchment paper which is used to package fats such as butter and lard. Now coming to paper board, paper board is thicker than paper and made in multiple layers. This is used to make boxes, cartons and trays for shipping and this is not used for direct food contact. Now coming to paper laminates, laminated paper is used to package dried products such as soups, herbs and spices. Now let us see the different types of packaging. The table displayed gives an overview of the types of packaging, types of container and examples of food packed. Primary packaging is the main package that holds the food that is being processed. Secondary packaging combines the primary packages into one box being made. Tertiary packaging combines all of the secondary packages into one pallet. Now let us see the types of packaging for food and beverages one by one. There is a demand in the market for method of packaging natural products. To fulfill this demand, aseptic method of packaging has been developed. The following are the different types. The first one is packing in cans. This type of packaging in cans which uses aseptic techniques is adopted by 90% of the market. The foods that are canned for commercial purpose are generally cooked prior to being placed in the can in order to prevent E. coli contamination. Foods that are canned range from meat to vegetables to fruit to refrigerated bread dough. Packaging in cans however has the following disadvantages. It is expensive and then empty cans will occupy more space. The cost of manipulation is high and there is loss of quality as foods have to be filled in cans when hot. The next type of packaging is aseptic drum. Aseptic drums created a revolution in packaging as the drums were a substitute for a 5 kilogram cans used widely in industrial sectors. Aseptic drum is a high technology drum made of cold rolled steel sheet and internally lined with non-plastic food grade PVC film. These drums are used primarily for the packaging of liquid and semi-liquid food products for example juices, purees, pulps and concentrates. Aseptic drums help to maintain the quality of the product and can be reused several times once they are emptied. However, there are certain disadvantages of using aseptic drums which are aseptic drums are expensive. There is a loss of quality of food as they must be filled in while still hot. It is very difficult to cool once it is filled due to its dimension. Lot of space is occupied by empty drums in storerooms and the cost of manipulation is high. Next coming to tetra packs. This kind of packaging is very common and is widely used in milk 
dairy and beverage industries. But there are certain disadvantages of using tetra packs also. They cannot be used for packaging volume or bulk foods in the industry. They cannot be used for filling products with fibers or particulates. Now the next type of packaging is done in foil packs. An innovative method of commercial food packaging is foil wrapping. Foil wraps are pouches which are filled and then sealed at the top and bottom with a heat seal. Foil packaging allows the food to be sealed in the package without losing any moisture that may be still in the food. Examples of foil packed foods are dried fruits, baked goods and grain products. The next one is glass bottles, jars and pet. The use of glass bottles is decreasing rapidly in the market for the aseptic filling of juices and beverages. Instead, use of pet bottles is developing very fast. The next type is frozen foods. The quality of foods can be preserved by freezing. Vegetables that are frozen should be thoroughly cleaned and cooked if that is appropriate. Certain vegetables like tomatoes have to be cooked and pureed if it is to be frozen. Whereas corn can be frozen without being pre-cooked. However, if the food is to be preserved completely, it should be filled in airtight packages to prevent freezer burn which can spoil the food. Th let us see the disadvantages of packed frozen foods. There are two disadvantages. One is storage requirements and the second one is logistics. Now next let us see what are the food safety regulations that have to be adhered to in packaging techniques. It is mandatory to maintain food safety and to conform to regulations during processing, packaging, storage, transportation, sale and use of food products. Certification programs such as the Global Food Safety Initiative can be used. The other regulations used may be specific to countries such as the norms of US Food and Drug Administration, US Department of Agriculture, European Food Safety Authority, etc. The regulations that have to be adhered to in food packaging are use of HACCP that is hazard analysis and critical control points. The next one would be to follow protocols of verification and validation, use of good manufacturing practices, use of effective quality management system, use of track and trace system and to follow requirements for content of labels. Now just let us look what are the factors that should be taken into consideration when selecting machinery for packaging. The factors to be considered would be technical capability, requirement of labor, safety of worker, ease of maintenance, reliability, cost of machinery, floor space required, flexibility, use of energy, quality of outgoing packages, and efficiency and productivity of the machinery. Now let us just see a few examples or few types of machinery that are generally used in food packaging industry. One is the auto coding label and date verification machine. Another one is blister, skin and vacuum packaging machines. 
another type is capping, over capping, lidding, closing, seaming and sealing machines, cartoning machines, case and tray forming, packing, unpacking, closing and sealing machines, cleaning, sterilizing, cooling and drying machines. Conveying and accumulating machines. Filling machines for liquid and powdered products. Inspecting, detecting and check weighing machines. Labeling, marking and product identification machines. And wrapping machines. Now having seen the different types of material and techniques in packaging, now let us see what are the modern trends in food packaging? The latest trends and techniques in food packaging have improved the safety and quality apart from increasing the shelf life of foods. Now let us take a look at some of the novel trends. There are smart indicators. The use of smart indicators on packages is on the rise. There are different indicators with different benefits for food producers, consumers and retailers. Temperature recorders. The use of temperature recorders which monitor products shipped in a cold chain using digital temperature data loggers to measure and record the temperature of food shipments is a modern trend in packaging. Next one is RFID, the use of radio frequency identification to food packages benefits food producers and retailers by creating a real time visibility of their supply chain. Bioplastics, the use of plastic packaging is usually non-biodegradable. To overcome this, newer bioplastics, films and products are being developed. Another trend is barcodes. The use of barcodes in food packaging ensures that the products are correctly packaged and date coded. This also helps to track the products throughout the distribution process. Next, flexible packaging. The use of flexible material such as paper, plastic film, aluminum foil and metallized films in food packaging is used. And then nanotechnology. The use of nanotechnology in commercial food packaging makes the packaging thinner and biodegradable. Food storage bags that are green are available that helps to keep food fresher for a longer time. Now having seen the modern trends in food packaging, let us just see what are going to be the future trends in food packaging. One is edible packaging. In the future, Edible food packages will be available. For example, an edible rice paper wrapped candy is available in Japan. Micro packaging. A microfilm, which is thousands of times thinner than human hair, has been invented, which can be used for packaging food. This microfilm is more eco friendly than plastic and has the preservation qualities of glass. Another trend in future would be smart packaging. Research is on about an innovative technology called electronic tongue that can taste food through sensors embedded in the packaging. If the food is contaminated or spoiled, the package will change color alerting the consumer whether it can still be cooked or needs to be thrown out. 
another future trend will be antimicrobial packaging. Again, research is on about antimicrobial packaging, which will not only protect food from bacteria, but will actively act against it. Packaging can be done in an antibacterial silver nanoparticle coated paper that can fight to keep germs out of the food. Another future trend would be water soluble packaging. Food can be packed in pouches that dissolve in water. The plastic film packaging which dissolves faster under hot water cannot be tasted when eaten. This technology can be used to package liquid friendly foods such as drink powders, cereals, soups and sauces. Now to conclude we have seen about the different materials used for packaging, the different techniques adopted for packaging, the modern trends and the future trends that will be used in food packaging industries. Now there have been great advances in the food industry, in the packaging sector since its inception in the 18th century. Now as international trade expands, improvement in packaging techniques in India becomes significant. So to conclude, we, as we have seen, the basic objectives of food packaging are protection and preservation of a product, launch of new products or relaunch of existing products, perception of added value to products or services and cost reduction in the supply chain. It is important to consider which materials and processes will best serve the market and enhance brand value. The advances in packaging techniques which have been driven by changing consumer preferences have led to improved food quality and safety. The new advances focus mainly on delaying oxidation and controlling moisture migration, microbial growth, respiration rates and volatile flavors and aromas. Nanotechnology will elevate food packaging to new heights in the future. Thank you.